video I did my full collection video part one of 2021 and I mentioned we're gonna cover my blu-ray box set so I'm gonna slide you guys over here and we're gonna get into that so we're gonna start with a collection that I think kind of went under the radar this is the Planet of the Apes collection uh, this is the 50 years Planet of the Apes collection and why this collection I think went under the radar is um, it has all the original movies on here on Blu-ray. So there's nine original movies in the Planet of the Apes series. Uh, there was the original movies that came out through the 60s and the 70s. And then you had the remake done by Tim Burton, which most people know about those. Uh, not so much the originals anymore, but they know about the remake by Burton. And then it has the newer trilogy, not just on Blu-ray, um, but also on 4K. And you can get this set for 50 bucks, which is what I bought this out a while ago, a long time ago. And that's really cool. I think this set is fantastic. Um, it really does act like a very long comprehension guide to the franchise. It has like CGI introductions by the monkeys or like... Uh, like uh, an ape or whatever in the movie and uh he uh like goes over the history of it and stuff so that's really cool a really awesome set then i have the i have a uh, batman 1989 batman returns and batman rom batman forever uh steel book set i don't really want to go into this set very much because to be honest i don't really care for this set um I'm, let me turn on a light here there we go. So you can see some, this is some of the stuff here better. Um, but yeah, I don't really care for these steel books. Let me show you them, I guess. That is, it's just, it's just the bat signal, and that's it. Literally nothing else. And it's all these are the same. They're different colors. It's a very lazy artwork for what you're paying for, and I got it on sale. And Clarence at Best Buy, and I picked it up, and I love those movies. Uh, not so much Batman and Robin, but the other two. Yes, please. I used to love actually Batman for um Batman and Robin though, to be honest. And um, you know, I just I turned it on one day and just couldn't sit there. And the reason I say I loved it is not because it's good. I used to love it ironically, but I don't even think it's that good to be honest. Then we have the Friday the Thirteenth Scream Factory box set. Which, uh, love that. Uh, I actually bought that set when it went on sale for a hundred bucks on Amazon. Bought it. And then the next day, it was gone. Literally gone the next day. Watched all those throughout to October. It was such a great experience. Next October, I'm definitely going to buy, like, another horror franchise box set. Go through all the movies and do that. Because that was so much fun doing that with, uh, Friday the 13th. Samurai Jack, the complete series. Incredible series. Absolutely do that. Um... Another Scream Factory box set here. Uh, the Critters movies, which I adore. Love the Critters movies. Maybe I'll get the Old Man Collection to do that next Halloween. That sounds fun. Gravity Falls, the complete series. Love that show. Uh, we have the James Bond Collection, uh, which has all the movies except, I believe, No Time to Die, which if you saw a video I posted earlier, I did get that movie, and you'll be seeing that in a minute. Friends, the complete series. It's a fun show. I don't really love Friends as much as everyone else does. But, you know, fun show. Um, then we have the Family Guy Star Wars trilogy, which is weird that this is the only set of Family Guy that you can actually buy on Blu-ray. Which, how many DVDs that show put out and how high those DVDs sold, you would think that they'd move on to putting out Blu-rays. But they just never did. Um... Pirates of the Caribbean. So this is the trilogy box set, which by the way, you can get this on eBay for like five bucks. There's literally so many people selling the set for five bucks. I ordered this free shipping from a Goodwill for five bucks and it came sealed with Pirates 1, 2, and 3. Now I do have the other two, but they're not, you know, we're just talking about my Blu-ray box sets at the moment. So this is part of a box set. But you know, back when that came out, it was like the original Pirates trilogy. There wasn't any more. So really cool though. Uh, you have the 4K Harry Potter set, which does not include the, uh, the, what is it, the Fantastic Beast films, which I have, though. The Star Trek movies on 4K, just the first four, uh, which, I watched the first one on 4K, it looked incredible, but the other ones I haven't gotten to yet. Lord of the Rings on 4K, 
I haven't seen those yet on 4K. I need to watch those. It's hard to devote the time, you know, to actually <coughs> watch those. But, you know, Batman, the animated series on Blu-ray. I do have Batman Beyond as well. Uh, we have the Flintstones on Blu-ray. Got that. Um, we have Ultraman and Ultra Q. Um, Ultra 7. And then uh, the Return of Ultraman. And I, there's so many other Ultramans that I need. Just haven't gotten yet. Daniel Craig as James Bond on 4K. Which I love Daniel Craig. Uh, this, that's, that's all the movies except No Time to Die. Uh, Walmart exclusive... 4K double pack of Independence Day and Independence Re Resurgence on 4K. So I have those. And then we're getting to this part down here. <laughs> we have The Kingsman on 4K. Uh, the first two movies, which I adore. Uh, the first one. The second one's okay. Just, I don't know, that Kingsman prequel. Kind of bummed me out. Wish it was better. The Shrek movie collection, which I love. The first two Shreks. The Jack Ryan 4K set. Love Jack Ryan. One of my favorite movie franchises. Alfred Hitchcock collection in 4K. Um, yeah, I loved watching those during the Halloween season as well. Um, Back to the Future in 4K. Absolutely love Back to the Future. Uh, the first two are my favorites. Um... And three is okay, but you know I'm not not the biggest fan of three. The Pacific on Blu-ray, love the Pacific. Great HBO series. Uh, no Time to Die. This is a Walmart exclusive edition, which I showed off in a different video. So if you want to see that more in depth, talk about it there. The Force Awakens is a 3D collector's edition, which is the only way I have this movie. Because I have all my other Star Wars movies together. So, The Last Dance ESPN documentary series, which I love. The seven movie Chucky collection. I have Bad Boys 1 and 2 on 4K. in this awkward, awkward set. Because, like, if you guys don't know, like, the artwork is this way. Even though that you're supposed to pull it this way to get the disc out. And they're in these sleeves. Just awkward, confusing packaging. But, yeah, I did enjoy the first one. I haven't watched the second one or the third one yet, which I have the third one, but I haven't watched it yet. Probably going to do a video just talking about the franchise in one video because I don't feel like they're maybe worth doing whole reviews on. Because um, I want to review them just in case we ever get a fourth one, which I'm sure we will. Jurassic World, or Jurassic Park Collection, which just has all these except... For the newest one that just came out, like, 2018, 2019, something like that. Uh, Firefly Complete Series. Fraggle Rock, the Complete Series. Absolutely adore Fraggle Rock. And that show looked incredible on Blu-ray. The Marx Brothers Collection, the 4K 2001 A Space Odyssey. Now we're getting into my Criterions. This is not the 4K, it's just the Blu-ray. The Hard Day's Night. Which, uh, wouldn't have got this one on Blu-ray if I had known they were doing a 4K. And I'm not upgrading because Criterions are too damn expensive. So I only have so few Criterions, honestly. Seven Samurai. Fantastic Mr. Fox. Uh, Police Story 1 and 2. Muhammad Ali. When We Were Kings. Absolutely great movies. Uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox being my favorite movie ever made. Love Wes Anderson. Man's King, alright. Ten Commandments, a little digi book. We're just kind of talking about just everything that's just not a normal Blu-ray case, basically, at this point. Ghostbusters digi book. Uh, Cabaret. Uh, another digi book. Or Cabaret, Cabaret, I forget how you say that. Dark Crystal digi book. Gone Girl. This is a great edition of Gone Girl. Love this movie. Uh, Planet Earth. My little disc, Discovery Channel kind of miniseries, whatever. Uh, we have this four film musical movie collection, which has like, you know, we Sing in the Rain and a bunch of other, well, just a couple other classics, but Apocalypse Now on 4K. And then I'm going to get into these ones. 
Um, fortunately, my slipcover ripped, so I had to throw it away. But it was the David Tennant Doctor Who. That's the, all the David Tennant stuff. Which they put out more collections like that. Also, that was a really affordable price. It went on sale for $15. Saw the 8 film collection. I need to get the first one on 4K. MGM Family Collection, which has like Pebble and the Penguin, Secret of Nim, Great Story Ever Told, Black Stallion, All Dogs Go to Heaven 1 and 2, Chi Chi Bang Bang, Igor, and Fiddler on the Roof, so I have that. But yeah, that's everything I picked up. And you got, or not everything that I picked up, I didn't ever haul my Blu ray box sets. Um, this is just kind of the first part, and then probably tomorrow I'll go into my uh, shelf behind me there, that big one. And then, you know, kind of circle back over here to some of the other Blu-rays that couldn't fit on that shelf because I filled up that shelf. So, you guys are going to let me know your thoughts, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.